Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Rise of the Tomb Raider. So, uh, you might not recognize this place because I never took the time to look around here a whole lot, or rather I really couldn't at the time. This is where this final confrontation of the Acropolis section took place, and then we just we were just teleported out of here, basically. But I made my way back here. I picked up the last two of those walkie-talkies that we were supposed to shoot down, and they were both in this uh, first marketplace area. I also picked up the uh, caches that were in that area. And now we're missing one document, curiously, which is not marked on my map at all. Not sure what's up with that. Uh, and then, of course, this mysterious coin cache that we weren't able to reach last time. However, I made my way back here. There were just a couple of currency on the way here, really, like, four or so. Um, otherwise, it was pretty, pretty quiet. But there is this hatch in the ground on the floor that leads here. And at first I thought this was just, you know, a mysterious dead end, but actually we can open this. And I decided to record here because this might lead somewhere interesting. It's definitely new. I'm pretty sure we haven't been here. Oh, that's actually the document. I mean, I, I looked from above and I thought there might be something below, but I didn't see that highlighted through the floor. I mean, I'll take it. We are no match for Trinity. They are the ones that drove our forefathers out of the Empire, and now they have come to finish the job. We are a broken remnant of a once holy people. There it is. Only our cause remains. I do not believe in my heart that we can defeat them, but I know that we can die trying, and that God and the Prophet could ask no more. Hmm. I mean, I don't know, maybe the name Remnant was wasn't used before to refer to them. That's really also not so much used as a name here, but, you know. Oh. I mean, I'm assuming... Okay, actually, I don't need to assume this actually just leads to this part of the map. I mean, from the map it doesn't look like there is a connection, but I thought there might be. I'm glad I was correct. Except... Wait. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on just a moment. Um... Huh? Oh, wow, sneaky. Oh. Mystery music, also controller shaking? Oh, there it is. Awesome. And that should be 100% completion for this map? Yes, indeed. Okay, so what I also did before... Um, I went back and picked up these collectibles here, the caches and research base. So that is now fully completed. Um, that leaves mostly the flooded archives. Um, well, Geothermal Valley, of course, has a bunch of things to collect. And the Wicked Vale has um, three more documents. Yeah. And we know where they are. And I'm, I know for sure how to get two of them. This one we need uh, the wire spool to swing toward, I think, this one as well? Or this one? This one might be the one. Yeah, the, the one above that was that seems to be reachable via some kind of mechanism that I wasn't able to figure out. I hope that we have all the tools, that, or rather I think that we have all the tools that we will ever have, so it's just a matter of figuring that out. So definitely want to go there. And then, of course, there's the flooded archives where we have picked up barely anything. I'm definitely very interested in re returning there just to see what that area is like now, after we've officially dealt with it. Wait, and this is just... Is there another way that I'm not seeing? Hmm. Or is this actually a dead end? Huh. Really? I mean, this seems to be connected according to the map. But yeah, this path is clearly not open, where the map shows a connection, so I guess that's that. Hmm. Okay. So all that just for the document and that one cache. Uh, I suppose in that case I'm going to uh, pause recording and probably make my way to... Well, we're done here. So I, I guess Wicked Vale to finally 
close that chapter. And then probably Flooded Archives next, because I'm curious about that one. But yeah, I think Wicked Veil, just because that should be pretty simple to do. And, you know, there's not a whole lot to, to complete there. So I'll see you there in a second. Okay, we're back here. And it should be a simple matter of, I think, jumping from that platform to do the trick. Ouch. Yeah. Of course, if we had come to this DLC, you know, later in the game, at this point, we could have just completed it, com completely completed it, picking up everything right away. I thought it would be simple. Most of these rough, stinking thugs take what they want from the prisoners. I chose Ivan because I thought he would bend. But it is worse than I thought. He is a good man. He does not want to be here any more than I. That sentiment holds little weight when he eats well and sleeps with a blanket. But I credit him with a moral compass these others lack. This place sickens him. He knows his part in it. Hates what he does. I caught him pushing back when he thought no one was watching to calm his guilt. I told him it was not enough. Showed him how to do more. We worked well together. Planned our escape. But it is too late. I am pregnant. We are damned. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit weird to come back to the story after we we're actually, you know, technically kind of done with it, but... Oh well, uh, I'm going to pause again as I make my way back to that, uh, to the, the other area. So I'll see you there in just a moment. Okay, and we're here, and then again it's a simple matter of just swinging across, and there it is. I am the last. There are others, wraiths who haunt the veil, but they are no longer human. They wear familiar faces, cry out for help in the voice of dead friends, but I will not believe their lies. My sword keeps them at bay, quiets them, but they will not stop screaming. I tried to lead us to safety, I did, but someone collapsed the passages leading back to the city. Once we realized there would be no escape, we turned on each other. Now, a madman with a bow is perched high above the veil, and he brings down the message birds I sent with pleas for help. The rays return. More than I can drive away. No one will survive this veil. Perhaps it's for the best. Let these, my last words, be a warning. Holy crap. Yeah. Pretty terrible story. I mean, a good story, but pretty terrible for that for that guy. Okay, and now we want to be all the way across up there. Oh, it's actually not... Yeah, okay. It's kind of high up. Huh. I wonder. Um, how do I even move about? I guess I take one of those platforms and then... I think I see the path. I guess I'm gonna try and make my way to... the uh, upper layer of moving platforms. I mean, I know I... Oh, wait. Is this not that stuff? Oh, that's just the, the basic magnesite. I have not found a single unit of, um, of chromite or whatever it's called in any of the caches or anywhere while picking up these random items. So it's over there. Yeah, there are, there are clearly this plat these platforms to be raised. And there is a wire spool. Well, not wire spool, um, rope spool or whatever. Well, that's exactly what it is, of course. Hmm. I suppose with the uh, with the actual wire spool, I might be able to just jump and grapple to the one of those ledges. Maybe it's as simple as that. Could that be? I suppose it could be. These platforms are not as close to that place as I thought. Wait. Yeah, that's not reachable. What's the point, though? It, it must be possible to connect that to somewhere, right? To to raise those platforms. 
obviously there this middle one is part of, of the mechanism at least this one actually is just fixed in place as is the uh, the one over there but this one is connected to that wire uh, I keep saying wire to that rope so if we could turn that that should move up this platform and that seems like the intended solution I just don't see how we could possibly fix that to any of these moving apparatuses right this, this can't be in line of sight from there nope definitely not I mean it's not that far off uh, it's not that close either I don't know normally so whoops <laughs> normally solutions to puzzles tend to be rather obvious but this one is weird I mean I'll try just jumping and grappling that's pretty far too hmm all the way from here seems unlikely but I guess what do I have to lose right well I mean she grappled <laughs> somewhere she tried oh really put me all the way back here that's not that far back but still hmm, yeah this is a weird one I think actually we can just climb up and be right where we just were another one of those letters where you are forced into this slow movement yeah okay at least we're right here suppose I'll double check that I really or can we just do this hold on it's not this simple right we can't we can't just pull on that no absolutely not and jumping on any of these yeah this one's fixed in place this one doesn't move either nor does this all right cool huh these move but does that help me at all oh wait wait what I could have sworn oh I was too far away I could have sworn I must have tried this and that was that, that, that was just oh that snaps immediately well never mind maybe I did try but I could have sworn that side was just blocked off huh it moves both of those wait did that one get raised no way so confused by this way more than I should be uh, yeah no the middle one is definitely now in the upper position uh, okay I'm not sure why but oh oh that's temporary I mean that really doesn't make any kind of sense in terms of how that mechanism works but at least I think I see oh no oh no Ah, uh, Lara, please, don't make things more complicated than they need to be. Can we just climb up here? Oh yeah, we can. These are not painted white. That's not how that's supposed to go. Okay, well, the time seems to be relatively generous at least. So there's that. How would we do this though? I have to get up there from there jump to the middle platform and then I should be hopefully able to make the jump across I mean I might be able to just jump between the two lower platforms okay um, yeah, just do this Oh wait, I totally can't. Uh, oh no, don't fall! Why did you... Oh my god. Lara, please. Uh, this is gonna be a major pain in the butt. Mm. Okay, well. Might be here for a bit longer than I anticipated. At least I... Suppose I know the solution now. That's worth something. I guess we can jump down here immediately 
The platform did stay up for some time. I suppose, yeah, that's probably what I'm supposed to do. It seems relatively doable. And then... Let's pretend the platform is up. From where do I jump? From here? I guess. Probably. And then hopefully I can just make it across. It seems pretty far, but, you know... She can jump far when she needs to. Surely it's gonna work. Just fine. No problem. No. Okay. Just fine, I say. Has it actually just reset? Nope, not yet. Oh god, really? Well, that's exactly what I was afraid of. So I'm assuming I didn't do it right. Am I supposed to write these platforms somehow? Could that possibly be any faster? Oh, there's that rope that I... Okay, maybe I should investigate that more. Yeah, I, I had a feeling like this route took a, just a little bit too long. I mean, this, the platform stays up pretty long, but that's a bit of a roundabout way. Just barely made it. This is a little bit too high up, unfortunately. Or is it? Huh. I mean, clearly not intended. Oh, that's claw. Hmm, so we don't jump to that. I guess we could... Oh, wait. One of the platforms is low enough to probably jump to. And then we could, we could just ride that around, which takes a moment, but definitely not as long as going down and all the way around. But that would mean that I have to time it with this lower platform specifically. I mean, we can definitely make the jump there, right? That does not seem like the correct solution. Honestly. But uh, I guess it could work. Do that. All right. So far, so good. Yeah, this is definitely faster. Quite a bit. <gasps> what? We can't. I. I can't make the jump. Can I? Okay, hold on. I'm not so sure anymore. That looked really far. We can definitely jump from that platform. Um, I'm not sure if I just messed up or if it's actually not possible. Uh, give it one more try. Uh, nope. Uh, yeah, not sure about that one. I mean, I was kind of close the first time, but I don't see how I could make that significantly faster. It also strikes me as a lot more difficult, the way I'm trying to do this, than things typically are. Which indicates that I'm just doing it wrong, of course. I couldn't jump to that rope. Maybe I just didn't do it right. Ah, it's so close, though. Mm. If I could jump to... to this platform. Shit, no. Definitely can't do that. And now I'm all the way back down. Oh my god. Um... Wow. I've spent... I don't know. Way too much time here. I'm getting annoyed. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Uh, this seems like it shouldn't be this this hard to do. I'm definitely just not seeing a simple solution. <sighs> Whatever, I'm gonna look it up. This, this is just not worth my time. Okay, back up here and I am a little bit upset because I looked up the solution and I saw someone doing exactly this, exactly what I've been doing. Jumping to the lower platform and he actually just easily easily without any kind of issue making the jump to that platform up there and yeah it was just really simple so I had the solution figured out and I just failed it twice and it 
it's, I mean, it's not just me, right? She, she wasn't even close to making that jump. Maybe I got too scared and didn't jump from the very edge of the platform or something. And before this works immediately, I mean, honestly, I'm gonna take it. Oh, I waited. Uh, maybe didn't wait long enough here. Might have wasted too much time. Uh, that's fine. At least if I can confirm that I can indeed make this jump. Okay. Of course, of course. Of freaking course. No! No! Are you kidding me? Should be good. Oh, well, close. But, you know, close is good. So long as it works. Right, everything's good. I just need to not mess up this jump, which apparently is not hard to do. Oh, I jumped too early. I have to... I need to have more confidence. I know. Thanks for the lift. Much appreciated. Alright, now we just do this. Jump up here. Easy. Man, I can't believe I was that close. Okay. Yeah. Just a matter of waiting long enough. Okay. Don't know if that was necessary, also that looked extremely awkward, but you know what? I don't even care. Oh. I thought I survived to spite my tormentors. But now I think I survived to spite myself. This is not a life worth saving. No life is. Hmm. There are no people in the valley. I will teach them that this existence is not worth living. Wow. Okay. Well, she had a really bad day when she wrote that, huh? Oh boy, uh, gl well, glad I collected that and read that. That was definitely worth it. <clears throat> well, well, it was worth it, of course, to get 100% completion there. Ah, stupid Syria. <clears throat> That's so, so annoying that the game does not allow me to quick travel there. I mean, obviously, that makes... That would make absolutely no sense. You know, just quickly fast traveling to Syria and back to Siberia. So, yeah, I get it, but still. <laughs> oh, well. So this was not a very pleasant experience, and I assume I'm going to edit that down just a little bit. You know, all that waiting around. Um, not the most exciting thing for anyone involved. Anyway, uh, so I guess... That means that I don't know exactly how long this episode will have been up to this point, but I still want to go to Flooded Archives. Should have time to look around there a little bit. And I'm not really missing all that many things. It's just that I picked up hardly anything. And we know that um, there was this this rucksack up here. Why do I keep saying rucksack? That's, I mean, I guess people do say that, but it sounds weird. And backpack is a much more common word. Anyway... Um, I think it's right up here, and I just hadn't found the way up. Although I think I might have seen possibly a way to get up there from this room. And that should hopefully show me the locations of those caches that I'm missing. And um, yeah, the rest should be pretty straightforward. Hmm. Well, I'm not aware of any things that I missed in this first part. And this was mostly combat anyway. So I'm hoping that all the collectibles are going to be in this later part, so I'm just going to travel to the Greek Fire Depot and we'll look around from there, and um, yeah, we'll see you there in a second. Alright, we're back here. Conveniently, all the immortal ancient warriors have disappeared somewhere. Also, uh, fun fact, as I spawned in here, uh, that box was going a little bit crazy. It, I don't know if it fell from somewhere, but it was bouncing around a little bit up there. Hmm, not sure what's up with that. Anyway, we are here. 
and I think first things, well, actually first things, uh, for, for the first thing I want to check out this area that I didn't explore, where we would have had, or we would have probably witnessed more Trinity being killed by undying ones. But they should all be gone now, probably. Hmm. Okay. Well, we can definitely climb up there. Get to the uh, higher level on this side. This must have been where they prepared the raw ingredients for Greek fire. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, I mean, as I said last time, or actually, well, one of these last times, I thought Greek fire was some kind of oil because I thought that's how that worked, how that allowed it to burn on on the water surface, for example, and be so effective against ships. But of course, sulfur might be involved in the in the in the making. Oh, nice statue. Why do I want to be up here? Hmm. Oh, okay. I guess that's why. That allows us to swing across to there. Ah, that's the map. Okay. Useful. Okay. One relic, two relics, another document up here, and the final mural as well. Awesome. Well, between that and the backpack, we should now be able to find everything easily. Yeah, let's just straight across there. Yep. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a new one. Oh, is that gonna make that block fall down? Yep, sure enough. Well, I mean, so long as I don't step on it. Are you freaking kidding? What is happening? Oh, I can shoot those. That is, That did not make the block come down. Also, um, for the record, I tried to walk past it and she just stepped on here. She got sucked into that pressure plate. That was a pretty... Pretty mean trick game, I have to say. Quite dirty. I mean, I thought this this whole block was going to come down to try and crush me, so I didn't shoot that because I didn't want the passage to be blocked and force me to take a way around or something. Oh well. The standard of the Prophet's army. This would have been mounted above a flag and carried by a standard bearer. Okay. Made from wood, from the looks of it? Oh. Huh. I would have thought that kind of thing to be usually made from metal, to be more durable, but... Okay. Yeah, screw that trap. <laughs> that was... that sucked. Oh well. Oh, that... wait. Back out here? I guess I never... Oh, I think I was up here at some point. Oh, but... I don't know. Maybe that was blocked from the other side. In fact, yeah, I think I might have opened that. Right, because I definitely remember being here before. Oh, the mural. Should probably get that while I'm in the area, huh? That is... What? Oh, up there? Oh, there are things on the other side of this. Oh, that's, of course, that's during the escape sequence. Huh. Well, I mean, I should be able to return there now. Hmm. Or maybe I don't know if I if I have to back travel from here. Because uh, yeah, this this is a wall that we can climb now with the broad head arrows. But of course, I'm gonna see if I can travel from this side. What is on, what is on the other side of this? What is that glowing there? Um, that might be explosive. 
Hmm. I mean, it would be extremely convenient if I could just blow that up from this side. I doubt it, though. Whoops. What? That worked! It's a miracle. I didn't expect that to work. But I'll take it. Huh. Neat. Okay, hold on. Can we not... Nope, that's not... Yeah, that's how you do it. Oh, there was only one. Maybe not really worth it. Oh, wait. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Well, that's that's cool. Was not expecting that. And that should allow us to really get to that mural, huh? Nothing else here. Well, that might be. There could be a cache in this room. This looks like a room where there might be something buried. But huh? Jump up, please. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Oh, what? <laughs> oh. Wire spool. God damn it. Uh, is there something up there, actually? Hold on, there is. I guess I can just jump from up there. It's just gonna be more materials that I have no room for, but, you know. There might be a coin in there. Oh, oh no, no, no. Okay, actually easy to make. Oh, not a coin. A single piece of, piece, piece of cloth. Oh well. Okay, that works. Good. There it is. Is this part of the, the original escape sequence? No, it couldn't be. a marvel. These buildings would rival anything in the Empire. If you say so. Hmm. Yeah, this must be a completely separate area. That just happens to overlap with where we had the had that little chase sequence. Hmm. Of course, that means that I re don't really want to be here. Right? Yeah, that, that just connects to the exit. So, actually, I want to not go that way. In fact, I shouldn't ever have a reason to, unless there is one of the caches along that way. Wouldn't be too surprised if they put one there, just to force me to go through there. That's okay. We'll see. Maybe it's not going to be that mean. Hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. It, it worked, blowing this up through the wall. And it was probably on purpose, but then again, it definitely seems like it would have been... Well, the much more obvious way would, would be to actually come from this direction, climb up here after achieve, uh, acquiring the climbing arrows, going through this way and then blowing up the, the door, you know, from this side. So I don't know. Ultimately, I, I have no idea if this was intentional, or if you know the explosion just happened to get triggered through that wall. Anyway, the rest of the things should be on the other side. Oh, this is just gonna lead to us taking a bath. All right, fair enough. Um, um, um Lara. Okay. <laughs> Sure, get stuck on that corner. That's fine. Magnesite. Okay, let's see if I'm correct about that place that I think I saw, where I might be able to climb up. For some reason, I didn't really take my time looking around in this area here while I was here the first time. 
I also don't really remember exactly where I thought... Uh, actually, maybe it is that climbing wall. Yeah, I think I just went through that passage and never climbed up here. That would explain that. Okay. Nice little trap. Where is this lead? Huh? Wait, is this... Oh, okay, this is above here. Okay, there's a thing, and this might also lead to the backpack, ultimately. But... right. This should lead toward that relic. Extremely brittle. And that's another one, sure. Come on. Soldier's flag to be hung from a spear. This must have belonged to the Prophet's army. Okay. Coins, always welcome. All oh, right, and from here, hmm, maybe from the other side. Yeah, okay. Seems a little bit less awkward. From here, we can jump to that box and even climb onto it. And that gives us one survival cache. Wait, what? Oh, but not the coin caches. Really? That's surprising. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, really? A document here. Okay, well, I suppose I will have to return there. This is the Atlas room. Huh. Maybe that has changed now that all the fighting is over? Because I did look around there quite a bit. Well, I did run around a bit, but I was also talking about things and might have missed the path leading up there. Hmm. Well, I definitely expected the the coin caches to be revealed. But I suppose not. Okay, that's over there. Huh. Wait, that wouldn't have to... It would be reached by balancing the crane, right? No, that wouldn't work. Because we know that that moves. Like, uh... We wouldn't be able to, to walk to the end. Hmm. Maybe we can actually just climb up there? Um, it, I mean, it seemed like we should be, should be able to, but, hmm, hmm, it's right above here. That's also reached from within this room. Oh. Okay. Thanks for the scrap. Hmm. I'm not so sure. There's a container of some kind. Okay, more coins. Yeah, I don't know. This doesn't look too promising. I don't know, maybe you are supposed to use the crane. Or maybe I didn't look around here well enough. Oops. 
I mean, technically, you know, it should be possible to walk along that ledge, for example. Don't just walk into that, though. I think this was just a dead end. Yep. Or, hold on a second. Hold on just a freaking second. Oh my god. Okay. Overcomplicating things to the extreme. Where is it, actually? Oh, further along that way. That should be doable, though. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Trinity has twice before Ooh, sent Mongolian. great men seeking the prophet's path. And twice before, they have vanished. He carried the divine source out of the Empire, but it was not his to take. That blasphemy taints everything while his descendants still live. So Trinity must try again. I have done ungodly things, committed terrible sins against the innocent, just to reach this place. To retrieve the divine source. I know God will forgive for what I do. I do for the greater good. Now the end is in sight. I need only survive this final battle, and Trinity's work will be done. Hmm. Well, I don't know if we... If he survived, but obviously he didn't succeed back then. That old version of Constantine. Oh, hello there. Actually, yeah, this will this will probably lead to the point to the um, caches. In fact, oh yeah, the um, the summary is not keeping track of monoliths at all. Now that I think about it, okay. I might also actually have seen this from below, now that I think about it, though. Yeah. Some of the words have been scratched out, but it seems to be pointing towards something. Coin caches. Coin caches. Of course, there had to be one there. And, well, I guess two more reasons to go to this area. At least. Alright, fine. I mean, this one is easier to reach from back here, and I was going to return to uh, the space camp next anyway, once I'm done with this area, or I guess done except for this coin cache. So that's fine. We'll just go ahead and pick this up, which should be easy enough. Yeah, let's just back there on the other side. Then I'll fast travel to uh, the, uh, the Atlas chamber, I suppose, or as close as I can. All right, glad I found that. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I saw the uh, the monolith glowing from below. But of course, at the time I was forced into the into the escape sequence, so I couldn't investigate that further. Where are you? Over there. Below that thing, yeah, I never looked around there, that's true. Of course, never any chromite. I only need a single piece, but... Well, it's fine. I'll find it eventually. Fast travel. I guess I can quickly skill, uh, skill this one spend point. Spend this one skill point. Body trap specialist. I'm never going to use that. Combat. Mm. Sure, just so it's out of the way. I guess I'll be retrieving more arrows now. One day. One day. Okay. Alright, here we are. Actually, that wasn't even all that long as far as loading screens are concerned. But I guess my new and improved memory probably helps with that. Well, not my own memory, but, you know, my computer's. 
Oh, it's right here. Closer than expected. Awesome. 25 coins. Wow, okay, I guess we've crossed a certain threshold and now we're going to be getting that many every time. I'm not complaining, that's for sure. It should allow me to buy those last remaining things. Well, at all, and also within a pretty reasonable time frame, perhaps. Of course, the goal is to collect absolutely every single coin that is in the game. I suppose maybe not, because uh, sometimes they are in these random resource containers and there's no way to keep track of those and whether you've found all of them. Hmm. Did we really lose oh. our old company when they broke through into the ruins? Not only Hi guys. That, but they lost the rescue party as well. Now let's hope we don't get stabbed in the head. Did I did I come out here originally? Was this path open to me? And I just chose to to go down and go for the Atlas immediately? Hmm. That seems unlike me. But I don't know. Okay, the document is over there. The cash is down there. It seems like either way I wouldn't have been able to reach those from here. How do I get there though? Is it a matter of jumping from here and grappling? Perhaps. Wait, why is that blowing? That won't blow up. That will, of course. Hmm. Yeah, they're all watching each other. Oh, wait. I guess not anymore. Oh, now he's watched. He isn't, though. Nice. The silencer is working. I like it. We're under attack. What? Search the air. Shenanigans. What? You had armor, apparently. What? What did I hit? I guess just your oversized backpack. Don't light her up. What are you doing? Get out of here. Okay. That was that. I mean, I guess I'll try? That didn't work. Yep, that's 25 more coins. Not bad. Hmm. How do you get up there? These are not places you can climb. This technically could be, but I guess it's not. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Did not notice those before. And that answers that question. Oh, okay. That seemed like a little bit last second, but... But it worked. When the Knights of the Order of Trinity learned of the Prophet's rebirth, they attacked again. But we were armed with true faith. Where they expected a slaughter of helpless refugees, they found an army of men and women who would no longer be victims. Many died there, but in the end, we stood victorious. We fled, leaving his tomb and the Empire behind. We walked for months, across the high plains, and into the frozen lands beyond the borders of the Empire. The path was difficult, and many began to doubt the Prophet. I am ashamed to say I did as well. I hope he can forgive me, for with the break of dawn, we now see the truth. 
He has brought us to an earthly paradise, where we can begin anew. God bless the Prophet, for he has delivered us. Well, good thing. Good thing that worked out, because, I mean, if Jacob really was not guided by, by God, uh, I guess he was just, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> hoping for the best, maybe? And it somehow worked out? Well, either way, that is almost everything for this area. Um, everything except for this one coin cache, which, as I said, we're going to be grabbing from this side. And... Right, we should be able to make the final dive here and, you know, pick up these caches now that we can access this place. Also grab this relic, which must have been... I don't know why I didn't grab that right then and there. There's also, I think, a cave that we can blow open and we can dive into this cave and we can... Uh, complete this tomb here and grab this document, I guess, that seems to be lying just out in the open. No idea how I missed that. Oh, missing in those, those bullseyes. Right, right. Bad coin cash. Well, that seems like something I'll just grab off camera as well as this one. Although, I guess there are still parts of. No, no, never mind. We definitely did look around here. Hmm, although, no, I guess this part specifically was for some reason blocked off last time we were here. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Maybe I'll investigate that on camera just in case there is something interesting happening, but... I mean, probably not. Well, either way, we're definitely going to return here, pick up these random things, do this next challenge tomb, now that we can finally access it, and yeah, also finish off the archives from here. And that, just to confirm... Should complete all the all the areas, actually, yeah. With the exception of stupid Syria. Awesome. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to do that next time. And depending on how long that takes, we might even continue with the main story and head for the actual buried lost city of Kitash. Pretty cool stuff. As always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.